Hi everyone, it's Marlene here again from Stock Paper Scissors. I'm back to do an update of where I'm at with my cleaning up of my craft room. Um, it's been about nine days, I think, since I posted the first video. When I look around my room, it's still a big mess. I, it doesn't look like I've accomplished a lot, but I have been through quite a few things, lots of boxes, bins, bags, and I've been purging and sorting, putting like things with like things ready to go on shelves or in bins. I still have not reorganized my little cubby holes that I need the shelves redone, but I have been in all other areas of my craft room and sorted things out. So I'll start over here on the right. This corner over here, if you remember, it was really full of stuff. It still has quite a bit of stuff there. The two bins on top are empty bins. I just have to find where in my house I'm going to put them or sell them. Um, the other bins that are stacked up quite high and the boxes are books and craft things that I still have to go through and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Um, some of my stuff belonged to my children. I did take that back to them so it's a little bit less messy in that corner. Down here is a pile of things that are going to the uh, thrift store. This bag on the bottom is garbage, but that whole pile is going to the thrift store. It's stuff that I've already been through, mostly old craft books and some of my husband's old wood turning books, some of the children's books, old picture frames. Anyways, that's got to be taken to the thrift store. As we pan around, everything else is still the same. Um, I did go through that green trunk over there, and I only kept stuff that I really wanted. There is a couple of really old scrapbooks in there that an aunt of mine had made, oh, I want to say back in the 1950s. And someday I'm going to do a video of those to show what scrapbooks look like back then. She was a crafter as well, and she kept quite a bit of stuff. So it'll be interesting to go through those with you. I went through my bookcase over here, and I did thin that down quite a bit. And I managed to put inside the books that I am taking apart and repurposing in junk journals. The shelf above remains the same. And my desk space here for my office and my computer and printer I did clean that up I had a whole bunch of filing papers that were here I managed to get all the filing done I went through the drawers and cleaned them out and straightened them up and it's mostly office stuff this drawer has some office things oh and my candy stash um, this one more office things. This is quite an old desk. My address book. A few things that are pertinent to personal items. In the middle drawer, that's just extra pens, memo pads. Again, office things. And then over on the left hand side, go around this chair without tripping. Um, here it's all tech stuff pretty well. Cords, thumb drives, more stuff, light bulbs, inks, and so on. So that's all that's in that desk. And on top is my EcoTank printer, my selfie. The filing cabinet is still the same. It has a couple of my scrapbooks on top, or my junk journals on top of it. And I haven't done anything with my Rassico cart yet. I'm going to be sorting through all the beads and everything on there. And they're probably going to find a new home. I want to keep my tools on this cart. So that's a future project. And we come to these shelves again. Like I said, I haven't got around to doing anything with these yet. I'm going to be 
repurposing them into bigger spaces to hold things like those bins up there. But we're waiting on a warmer day so we can get out to my husband's shop because I do need to do some uh, cutting of these extra um, dividers so that they fit properly. So as soon as we get a warm day, we're going to do that. I have been going through all the stuff on these shelves and like I said, I purge quite a bit. I've been straightening up some stuff um, and it does look a little bit less messy, but then there's still a big pile on this um, small floating table that I have in my room. Um, it's stuff that I have gone through and I'll probably be keeping most of it, but I need to find better bins for it or bigger bins because I no longer need these small ones. So once I get to the dollar store, I'll be doing that. Over here, there was a big pile on this floor, if you remember, of papers and boxes and things. There's still a little bit there. This is an old gramophone that I've advertised on Facebook Marketplace for sale. So once that's sold, it'll be out of there. I've organized my papers. I got rid of a whole bunch of cardboard that I no longer need. I, If I need a cereal box, I'll just have everybody eat the cereal and save the box as I need it. So that's all still. It looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit straighter. My sewing desk, I don't think I did much with it. Um, this pile here is old jeans that had holes and they were my husband and my son-in-laws were going to throw them out but I've now cut them up and saved the pieces that I want I'm going to be making junk journals out of jeans we'll see how that turns out but that's a future project and I did go through these drawers and sort them out as well this one just has some um, heat bond strips, some elastics, a few things for decorating journals. Down here it's mostly Velcro, elastics of all sizes, zippers. And on the other side in those two drawers over there, those are mostly just my tools. Um, and I mean tools like measuring tape and hammer and square screwdrivers. Just things that I find I need once in a while in the room here. Then as I slowly pan around, this has not changed yet. I'm not too worried about it. It's not that messy yet. This I cleaned up. If you remember, I had a bunch of Christmas stuff here. I have put away quite a bit of the Christmas uh, ephemera and ribbons and things, so I've straightened that up. That all remains the same so far. And up here, that all remains the same as well. On my desk, I have stuff there that I'm sorting through. And uh, yeah, slowly putting it all in places. And those small bins at the back, I'll be repurposing those on my shelves probably, so I'll be finding another way to store pens and papers, a larger divider probably, um, for scissors and pencils, markers. That I went through and sorted a little bit and straightened it up. And then down here on the floor, I wanted to show everybody, this is... I got this old hard suitcase. It's got a hard cover. I got it at a thrift store. And this is where I'm storing all my smaller laces. So I save toilet paper rolls and they're stood on their end. And in each roll is a different color and type of lace. So this is where I've stored it all. Plus there are a few extra laces just hanging around that I haven't put in rolls yet or they're just too small or too big for the rolls. But all the rest of it is pretty well tucked in here. And it's fairly simple and easy to see what's in each roll as I need it. 
So I thought that was a great way to repurpose that suitcase. But as you can see, I really can't fit too much more in there. And that's it. That's as far as I've got so far. I hope you enjoyed this update. And as I do more, I will continue to post. Thank you for watching and Happy New Year, everybody.